enough so all of you can hear me. I learned how to project my voice when I was in theater, so if you can't hear me, just I can elevate it. Uh, I just wanted to say that, first of all, I'm honored to be here. Uh, it is the culmination of something beyond my wildest dreams, and um, I think it is, it's just incredible. Uh, I, as some of you, many of you know, when I moved in here a year and a half ago, June a year ago, uh, my one regret was that I couldn't grow organic vegetables in an apartment. And the day after I moved in, I took a tour of the grounds and I found an abandoned greenhouse. And I thought, aha! So I got uh, together some, some compatriots of mine from Occupy Jacksonville. Believe me, it does a lot of good. You should follow it. Uh, and they came and they refurbished the greenhouse. They, the designer of the raised planters over here is in our present uh, grid. Where are you? Oh, here. Rick Webwell. Here. Right, there he is, down with his with his television. <laughs> oh, the, but he's the one. He's a he's a graduate of Georgia Tech, which says something really good. And uh, he designed the planters and then built and donated a couple of them for us. We have others who donated. Uh, including the uh, men of the First Baptist Church in this in this area, or the, no, the Murray Hill Baptist Church, pardon me. And uh, it all snowballed from there. And I, you know, I, I just, I just had the, the one spark, but the spark started igniting all over the place, like Fourth of July. So uh, we're here now, and we appreciate so much all of you coming. Uh, I want to, to tell you, you're welcome to come back anytime and see the progress. And I'm just, uh, I'm just grateful to be a small part of it. And uh, at, at age 88, you need to be a part of something, not just a big part. So it's, it's nice to have a small one. So thank you, all of you, for being here to help celebrate this. Yay! Now we have a really special treat. Thank you, Emily. We, we love you. Um, it's, it's been fun to watch her. She's, she'll come out here and she'll sometimes put the younger people to shame when she's out here shoveling and doing the different things that she does. And, and it's really wonderful to see. 